Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss functions and relations. To start, we will define a relation R between two sets A and B to be any subset of the Cartesian product A cross B. Recall that by definition, A cross B is equal to the set of all ordered pairs x, y such that x is in A and y is in b because r is a subset of a cross b then every element of r is an ordered pair moreover we define the domain of r denoted by d sub r to be the set of all first coordinates on the other hand the image of r denoted by i sub r is the set of all second coordinates. Using the set notations, we can write d sub r to be the set of all x such that the ordered pair x, y is in r, while for the image, we have i sub r equals the set of all y such that the ordered pair x, y is also in r. Here, the set B is called the range, and when D sub R equals A, then R is said to be a relation from A to B. Finally, if the domain of R is equal to A, and A is equal to B, then R is simply a relation in A. A relation may be indicated by the following, a set of ordered pairs, a mapping diagram, a table of values, and by equations. For example, let P be the set containing negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and Q be the set containing 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then, S, which is the set of all ordered pairs x, y, such that x is in P, y is in Q, and y equals x squared, is a relation between P and Q. Notice that when we substitute the values of x, which are taken from the set P, we will get the following. We may rewrite S as the set containing when x is negative 1, Negative 1 quantity squared is equal to 1, giving us the ordered pair negative 1, 1. When x equals 0, 0 squared equals 0, so we get the ordered pair 0, 0. When x equals 1, we will have 1, 1. And when x equals 2, y equals 4, giving us the ordered pair 0, 4. This is... A set of ordered pairs. Next, we may also consider the following diagram. So suppose this is our set P, which contains negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And we have here the set Q, which contains 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So from the previous relationship, we know that negative 1 is mapped to 1, 0 is mapped to 0, 1 is mapped to 1, and 2 is mapped to 4. So this is an example of a mapping diagram. Alright, we may also consider the following table of values. Okay, where when x is negative 1, we get 1. When x is 0, y equals 0. When x is 1, y equals 1. And when x is 2, y equals 4. So this is a table of values. Finally, we have the equation which describes the elements of our set S given by y equals x squared where x is taken from p and y is taken from q.
Finally, let R be a relation between A and B. Then, the inverse of R denoted by R to the inverse is the relation between B and A defined by this set. So, we have R inverse is equal to the set of all ordered pairs Yx such that the ordered pair xy is in R. Suppose you are asked to state the inverse of the following relations. We have R equals the set containing 1, 1, 1, 2, and negative 3, 2. So by definition, in order to find the inverse of R, which is denoted by R to the negative 1, we only need to interchange the roles of x and y. That is, R inverse is equal to the set containing 1, 1, the, the ordered pairs 1, 1, 2, 1, and 2, negative 3. Okay? If the given is t equals the ordered pair x, y such that y equals x squared, then t inverse is equal to the set containing the ordered pairs y, x such that y is equal to x squared. Okay? Notice that when you take the inverse of R inverse here, okay, that is we have R inverse inverse, we will have the, or, the set containing the ordered pair 1, 1, 1, 2, and 3, 2, when we interchange the roles of X and Y again. And from here, we know that this is equal to R. Therefore, we, may, we have observed that if R is a relation, then the inverse of the inverse of R is equal to R.